ready to roll? Let's get this show on the road. Morning! Who's ready to kick some ass? Looking at the regalia really reminds me of home. It sure doesn't look like any of the cars you see around here. And it's a lot roomier, too. I can't imagine trying to cram five people, including Gladi, into one of those things. Have you ever ridden in one? Can't say we have. There was barely enough room for our luggage. Thank goodness you guys could give me a lift. Think the others made it to Kayam all right? Well, I suppose we'll find out when we get there. I'm like 90% sure. Not 100. You almost know your stuff. All thanks to Jared. <laughs> Thank you for driving, Ignis. Pleasure. Are you the only one that drives? I can drive! And so can I. It's not like Iggy's the only one who can drive. He's just the only one we can trust. Wow, are they that bad? Not bad at all, right? Right. But there's no way the big guy's taking any chances with his little sister in the car. Sure you don't need a break. I'm okay. You are sandwiched in back there. Have Prompto suffer instead. Really, it's fine. No suffering here. If you say so. Got some bad news, guys! Oh, great. Another floating fortress. Let's pull over. Uh, knocked. Relax. We've got this. Taking matters into hand? Delivering justice for Jared. And for Talca, too. Iris, I'll need you to wait here. All right. Careful, knocked. Only fools rush in. I suggest we review our intelligence and devise a plan. this far out. Leave no plot of land unconquered. Those aren't conquering numbers. Likely building a supply line, it would behoove <sighs> us to cut. Oh, looks the same as before. Looks can be deceiving. We beat them easy this time. And neither will we. You think 
think Iris is doing all right? She is all alone. <laughs> She's a big girl. She'll be fine. Yeah. Iris isn't exactly a bring him on backstreet brawler, is she? Well, she's tough, but I'd feel better if we got this over with and got back on the road. Thanks for the ride. Ah, oh, thanks, buddy. So, what's our plan? Find the base commander and take him into custody. Targeting Metal Man will yield little in the way of reconnaissance, but bones bend easily. We'll split into two groups of two. Prompto and Gladio will generate a diversion. Oh yeah, making a scene's what I do best. Knocked. Are you prepared? Operation to catch a commander is go. The insolence of that up-jumped mercenary. And there is still no word. This cannot be born. Such behavior besmirches his Radiance's good name. That's our target. Let's follow him. Seize him on my signal. Stay hidden till then. that Chancellor playing at. I'm no man's fool. He sent Highwind to watch me.
Don't fall too far behind, Noct. You mustn't lose sight of him. Hurry. Incident she and I meet wherever I go. Claims to trust her as a person. <sighs> Hollow words from the mind behind the Magitech movement. Don't fall too far behind, Noct. You mustn't lose sight of him. Hurry! Who goes there? There's a time to fight and a time to flee. This is the latter. I may have acted in haste with that impudent steward back in Lestalem, but my mission remains clear. And I'll be damned if that mercenary gets her grubby hands on the prince before Caligo Aldor. I'll give Highwind one last chance to respond. Stand guard here. If the Commodore arrives, send her through. Closing from behind. Oh. You're in fine form. Keep it up. Looks like they've set to work. Our last them off the base. We 
regroup with the others. Guess it's time to let loose. Glad to see you lot were successful. Does that mean you weren't? I placed our captive into the hunter's custody, but I've just been informed he's fled. He lives to die another day, and I'll gladly help him with that. Is it that time already? What time? Quitting time. Sorry, but this girl doesn't work after hours. I could, but there wouldn't be a single gill in it for me. Hmm, we should play again sometime, pretty boy. <sighs> Who the hell was she? I'm still worried about Iris. I imagine she's fine, but we shouldn't keep her waiting. You're back. Did you kick their asses? Oh, yeah. All in a day's work. Hey, mind if I hang in your guys' room for a bit?
Thank you for shopping with us. Thank you very much. Welcome to Old Lestalem. So, what are you in the mood for? <laughs> Come back soon. Kenny's waiting for you. Tisha, I guess. Right. Can't keep Lady Luna waiting. Let's hit it. Sure. And away we go. You should be glad you didn't. Yeah, the Loki guy was nothing compared to her. Though we may not have fared so well without the Marshal. Think things would have gone differently if he were here now? Well, she offered to play again. Maybe we'll get the chance to find out. begging to be explored. Never been one to turn down an invitation. If what they say about the Malmalum thicket is true, then we might just find what we're looking for here. You guys excited to visit Altisha or what? I guess. I'm so jealous. We're not going on vacation. Oh, yeah. You're right. There is something wrong? What? No, I'm fine. I I'm not jealous. I just had a lot of fun hanging out with you guys. But that'll all be in the past once we hit Kayam. What are you talking about? We can hang out anytime, right? Yeah.
Let's pull over for a sec. How come? Well, I gotta give the driver a break every now and then. If you say so. Wonder why I thought of that before. Because no one ever had a little sister along for the ride. Breeze. We're on the water. Wow. It's beautiful. Picture perfect. bridge up ahead. <laughs> Some piece of work right there. The rivers run wide out here, so the bridges run long. Guess I'll see it when we cross. Want to get a closer look? At what? What occasion? I do my part. I always set the table. That's some arrangement you guys have here. squeeze sorry for cramping your style calm down I'm just kidding not my fault you're too big for the back seat okay these birds are freaking adorable y'all recognize the purr of that engine anywhere thanks for the ride it was fun how's the boat papa's tinkering away reckon he'll be tinkering for some time trouble at sea seen her share by the looks of her some parts we can fix others need replacing an overhaul don't y'all worry papa ain't going nowhere till the job's done parts won't fetch themselves though was kind of hoping y'all wouldn't mind helping out with that. We're at your disposal. To tell the truth, we already got a couple hands on deck. Dustin and Monica. Those two have been real swell. Managed to gather just about everything we need. You can depend on the Crown's Guard. Trouble is, they ain't had much luck finding a certain something by the name of Mithril. Apparently, the stuff's hard to come by around these parts. At least according to the little fella from the city. Talcott? You betcha. Sharp as a tack, that one. Could tell y'all more about the stuff than I could. We'll be sure to ask.
my paws down on the dock. Now, if y'all excuse me, I'm gonna grab my tools and ski daddle. Got a garage to look after. Prince Noctis! Hey! Our house is over here! Right this way! Cindy might have told you already, but she needs a very special kind of ore called Mithril to fix the boat. Remember the waterfall? I read in Grandpa's notebook, there's some ruins near a lake just north of there. It said you'll find Mithril inside! My Grandpa's never wrong! There's gotta be Mithril in there! I just know it! About that lake, pretty sure he was talking about the Vesper Pool. I asked Monica to look into it, and she told me the road leading there is under Imperial Lockdown. You'll want to be prepared for anything. So, how's that coming along? Yeah, just give us a second. Uh, okay. I'll be inside then. So, yeah, gonna have to ask you to handle this boat business without me. Say what? I got some business of my own to deal with. Gonna be long? Not long enough for you to miss me. <laughs> 